What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Shook, and today I'm gonna be talking about why you need to let your actions speak for you. Now, I'm gonna be telling, I'm gonna be telling you guys why you should let your actions speak for you through a story. Now, to start off, basically, what happened was there's always been this dude when I was younger. He he, like when I grew up playing basketball and such, it's competitive. So obviously people are gonna like, you know, try to downplay each other, say, oh, I'm better this, this, and this, or whatever the case is. And sometimes that often leads to like people telling other people, oh, this guy's garbage, all this, all this, all this. It's like, it's things that mostly happen when you're younger and such. But there was one dude in particular when I was playing high school and such who would nonstop like, like put down my skill and let it be known in order to make himself look better and feel better as well. Now, this had happened from like maybe since the start of like, I was like in grade six or seven. And to be fair at the time, like I had just started playing basketball and such. So I wouldn't necessarily argue with him because he was at the time actually better than me, right? But you know what? I didn't say nothing about it, you know? I didn't say anything crazy. I, I didn't back talk because I actually knew that he was better than me. So why would I say anything back, you know? But anyways, as time went by and such, what ended up happening was I got better at basketball and such. And then we ended up going at the same high school. And then we both made it on the team for our junior team and such. Now what happened that junior year team was honestly the ga gap between us kind of like shrunk down a little and even before i even made the team he was talking about how i wouldn't make the team and how it was trash and all this and how he had made the team last year on junior and now he's gonna make it this year in junior all this all this you know gassing himself up and such but what ended up happening was i made the team as well and honestly i can say that we pretty much got equal playing time and such you know Maybe if anything, I'll give I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He probably he maybe got more playing time than me. Who knows? But the the point I'm trying to make is by the time like two years later, we were relatively on the same level and such. But at the same time, even though we were kind of at the similar level, he would still try to degrade my skill, try to talk down on me, and try to make himself look better in front of everyone and such. Now fast forward to grade. Now fast forward another year and basically I'm on my grade 10 year and he's in grade 11. So right now he's going to be trying out for the senior team. I'm still going to be on the junior team. So what ended up happening was I ended up being on the junior team, but I ended up starting something he never did. And I also was the captain of the team, something he didn't do. What happened to him? Well, he didn't make the team senior year or not senior year, but in his, I guess, uh, grade 11 year, he didn't make the team. He got cut. <laughs> and it was so funny because last year he was on the bench and he was basically talking all of this. He wasn't even a starter last year on the junior team, but now this year I'm a starter on the junior team and he isn't right. So then all, the, all that goes by, he didn't make the team in grade 11. I was a starter, I was a starter the previous year and I was also a captain. And keep in mind, I haven't said anything to him. So then the following year goes by, this is my grade 11 year, this is his grade 12 year. What ended up happening was, what ended up happening was he made the team in grade 12, all right? He did. I'll give him credit, he did make the team, but I was on the team as well with him on the senior team and I played more than him. And even for certain games I started and he, that was basically the end of his career. He never played again, nothing crazy, you know? He didn't win any awards, he was never a captain. He was never a starter for the three years that I would like, He's a year older than me, so the three years he was in high school, while I was in high school, he had never been a starter, never was a captain, never won any award or nothing. Fast forward a year later, he he leaves, he graduates. I'm on the team senior year, captain, 
starter, grade 12. And to basically summarize the story, man, like, yo, I was, a, I was able to start for, I'd say maybe two or three years out of four for my high school. I was captain for two of those years. And I won an MVP. What did he get? He basically was on the team for, I believe, three years. Never started, never won nothing. And still, this is, and still, all throughout all this time, he was talking trash about me and I never said nothing. And the thing was, the thing is now, I don't have to say nothing because all my actions speak for itself on why his opinion doesn't even matter to me. I was able to accomplish more than he did in his entire high school career. And he didn't accomplish nothing at all. And that's why I'm telling you guys to let your actions speak for themselves. I let my actions speak. I remember those times where he would be telling me I'm trash. I was this, this, and this. Meanwhile, I had the better career. Simple, you know? And I didn't say nothing. I didn't say anything crazy, but I know deep down inside of him, he must feel really bad about himself because he really tried to put me down and I ended up playing way better than him, had a way better four year stretch than him. And now he has to live with that. And I don't have to say nothing because he just knows deep down inside that it's the truth. And that's why you need to let your actions speak for themselves because your actions, actions are louder than words. And as you can see, I don't have to say anything to him, man. I don't have to say nothing to him. But anyways, if you like the video, give me a like below. If you don't like this video or you have anything interesting you wanna let me know, leave it down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Keep your post notifications on. We're gonna to continue to grow and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.